What is going on, you guys? My name is Jacob Forster, and we're back with another Itch.io horror game. This one is called The Undying Beast. Let's go ahead and accept death, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. These games are always so good. I don't know what to expect, but we shall see. Are we going inside of a coffin? Looks coffin-shaped. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Also, this is part of, I believe, the PlayStation Horror Jam, or uh, Horror Game Jam. Excuse me. I saw you. Hi. What are you? Is that a scare... Scarecrow? Oh, you don't... You gone. <laughs> Can I fall off the edge? No. Oh, I see a light in the distance. I don't know if I should go towards the light. Because <laughs> that's always not a good thing when you're dying. Or maybe it is a good thing. It depends on the situation. If you're trying to stay alive, you don't want to go towards the light. You know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe it's right. Maybe I'm wrong. What is this? The story began with nothing. An absent planar void. There was nothing and then there was a scream. Okay, do we just go to the next light? Let's go. Oh, I don't like this. It is foggy, it is... spooky scary. Gonna keep looking around, make... make sure there's no spookies. Okay, new computer. What do you got for me? The scream came from the mist, but it also came from a place lost in time. Oh. What? Hello? Oh, I'm getting out of here. I am getting out of here. Oh! Oh, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. It's just some trees. Hi! Oh, a little flower? Oh, that tree's moving. That tree's moving! Hi, tree! Well, why are you the only one moving? Also, I just picked up a daffodil? Am I supposed to collect all of those? Oh, it's a graveyard. What do you got for me? Unjustly slain, the beast rose again. Their motives yet put to rest. Okay. I guess we're going into the cemetery. Yo, the sound design in this game is so spooky. Hello? That tree's still moving. All right, let's go pick up this daffodil. What? <laughs> okay, got another daffodil. Oh, there's another light. I don't know if I should go exploring for these daffodils. Or if I should just go to the light. Seems like the edge, right? No, there's more over here. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the light for now. <gasps> Sorry, I'm like pacing back and forth with my camera. Just trying to see what's around me. Okay, what do you got? The aberrant tragedy. Their time had come so quickly, they could not die. They mustn't be dead. What? Oh no. <laughs> okay, just go to the light, go to the light! <laughs> All the light's disappearing. Okay. Okay, it's on the edge of the map. That's good, I guess. Nothing can come from in front of me. The beast would deny death, would exist beyond. They wouldn't accept this lie. Okay. I just want to find more daffodils. <laughs> hi. Hi, 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 hi. I'm out of here. I am out of here. <laughs> oh. oh, I saw the light. Whoa, that's way over there. Okay, I think this is a good time to go. Just kind of go slightly off path. See what else we find. Also, what was that one scarecrow shaped dude? Ooh, glad I went off path. That I saw at the very beginning of the game. I haven't seen him again. What was that? What the? What? Oh! What? 
Is it a dead whale? What the heck? Gosh, what is this noise? Hello? My name is Jacob. I'm here to be spooked. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh. Oh, I don't like these sounds. I do not like these. Tough deal. Tough deal. Okay, okay, okay. Got four out of seven. I don't know what I'm doing with these. Oh. Oh. They do the sound so well in this game. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful, it's awful, it's awful. Dude, why is this one so far away, too? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the right. <laughs> I do not like those sounds. There's something great about a horror game where... Oh, this is in the very corner. Where it doesn't have to have necessarily big jumps at you, but the, the atmosphere of itself can be scary on its own, which I love. The beast, perverting fate just by existing in this absence. Haunted, nothing but an empty void. Hi. Oh, he's back. Maybe if I don't look at him, I can get close. No, he still disappears. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little bit further into the fog. See if I can find a daffodil. <gasps> yes. <laughs> All right, five out of seven. Also, I have no idea, like the overall objective I'm supposed to do in this game either. <laughs> oh! That scared me way more than it should have. <laughs> that was the first thing that actually came at me. Just one more daffodils, please. All right, well, let's just start walking towards the light. I feel like I'm probably deviating a little bit too far. Oh. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, we're back at the cemetery area. All right, I'm going to go around to the left of it. Oh, this fog just makes everything so much worse. Like, have you ever been... Hello? If you've ever been, like, out at night on an ex especially foggy evening, like, even just, like, walking around a neighborhood that you know is spooky enough. Hi. Hi, trees. These trees just randomly pop out <laughs> out of nowhere <laughs> in my peripherals. Okay, okay, okay. We're so close. We're so close to the computer. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Fate would not abide. Death would struggle on regardless of its hunger. Nothing can exist here. There are no exceptions. Okay. All right, we got another light. I've got three more daffodils to find, though. I must find the daffodils. Wherever they. Oh! Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, the. Oh, I only need one more daffodil. That's a creepy dead horse. Is this the one I'm supposed to find? Yes, it is. Gnawing painted void pulled inwards to the beast, tearing its form into itself. The eternal beast would die. Okay, I just want one more daffodil. I just want one more daffodil. And then I can get out of this place. <laughs> What's that? More trees? Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, it's not by the corners. I. It can't be by the corners. I've already gone through, like, the entire edges of this map already. So I'm going to walk a little bit back just to this edge before I go to the light. This is... Did I just get teleported? Hi. Hi. That was weird. My game just, like, 
my positioning in the game just smoothed a bunch. Hello? Is anyone out there in the darkness? In the fog? Oh, is this where the... Is this where the first computer was? Oh, there it is, there it is! There it is! What is this gonna do? Seven out of seven. Okay, I don't know what that did, but I did it! <laughs> Alright, let's just get these last computers and get the heck out of here. <laughs> if we can. I mean, I'm dead, so... I don't know if you can escape from death with seven daffodils. Alright, we're moving along. That's a new noise. That's a new noise. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, computer. Oh, I missed you so. I missed you. Oh, it's the whale again. Okay. I guess I saw that a little early. Shoot it. <gasps> what do I do? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Shotgun? Wait, what? I'm sorry? What? What? I'm... I was not expecting any of this. Oh, is that the... Is that the Scarecrow guy? It looks like the shape of the Scarecrow guy. Oh, oh, hi. Wait. Wait, what? Hello? What? The Undying Beast, ending two of two. A game by Akuma Kira. With sound by Jaren Christ. Whoa. So I got ending number two. I'm gonna... Oops. <laughs> I just quit out of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that again. And see what I get for... The second... Or the first... Uh, the first inning. So let me go ahead and play through this one more time. Just so you guys can see all the endings. I'll probably fast forward this just for you guys, of course. <laughs> Sorry not watching me play it all again. Alright. Oh, I'm back in the spooks. Okay. Right, where's the first computer? Computer! I come for you. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> All right. Computer number one. Computer number two. Actually, I'm not going to grab any dumbbells. Oh, I'm still spooked by that one thing that just ran at me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Round two. Ah, oh, yes. Another computer. Another computer for my viewing pleasure. Hmm. Very much so. Let's get the other computer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, screw you, Daffodil. I don't want you. Alright, what do you got for me? Unjustly slain, the beast rose again. Their motives yet put to rest. Where's the next computer, though? Hello? Oh, hello. Alright, what do you got? What do you got for me? The abhorrent tragedy. Their time had come so quickly. They could not die. They mustn't be dead. Next one. I'm just going to give the most outrageous voices to all of these readings as possible. Just to carry it along. The beast would deny death would exist beyond. They wouldn't accept this lie. Okay, nice. Okay, where's the next come pooper? Mm. I see you over there. Oh. oh, these noises! I'm not gonna look behind me. 
I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're, you're a creepy tree, dude. <laughs> Alright. Oh, those noises. Those noises, those noises. Those... Why would... Oh, I, don't, I don't remember this one being so far away. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, computer. Come at me. Give me that computer. Alright, let's see here. The beast perverting fate just by existing in this absence haunted nothing but an empty void. Hi again. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I'll blast you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like creative voices for all of these as I go along. <laughs> it's hard to come up with them on the fly. It's something that's unique and different. Ah, uh, yes. Another computer. No, fate would not abide. Death would struggle on regardless of its hunger. Nothing can exist here. There are no exceptions. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hi. Lift my nose to that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Gnawing painted void pulled inward in the beast. Tearing its form into itself, the eternal beast would die. All right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> you gotta mix comedy with horror so that it is continually palatable. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot about that one. Actually scares me. Shoot it. Kill it. <gasps> Hi. Oh, that's your Jesus. Still care. <laughs> still got me. <laughs> Give me the shotgun. It's go, it's blow time. It's shooting time. That's the better phrase. <laughs> oh, this is just becoming a pure and utter train wreck at this point. All right, what is going to be different with this? I picked up the shotgun. Can I shoot? Do I have the option to, to blast myself? Is that me? Shoot, shoot. I'm clicking the buttons. Nothing's happening. Oh. 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 <laughs> the Undying Beast. Ending one of two. Wow. I really like that. That, uh, quiet phone, get out of here. That game was, the, the sound design. The sound design was the <laughs> absolute best part of that game. Um, just being able to like hear all the like creepy weird noises coming through the headphones and you don't know what's going on and for the most part there was actually nothing really in the scary spooky woods other than that one little like dog beast that ran at me and the scarecrow guy and of course the the wobbly tree but other than that that was uh that was about it for the scares themselves but the game did a very, very good job with the overall atmosphere, and it brought to a point where it was just like, I was just on, on edge and tense the entire time. So I really enjoyed that. That was super fun. Um, if you guys want to check it out, of course, I always leave the game download in the description for all of these free itch.io horror games. So of course, if you want to play it yourself, feel free to do so. You got ending one and ending two, which I don't always do that often, so you're welcome. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out for this video. If you liked it, make sure you just hit that like button. And if you disliked it, just dislike it for me. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Just something that you enjoyed about the video. I don't know, anything. I like saying hi to you guys, and I'm always trying to do my best to respond to people in the comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Uh, hit the bell notification, that way you know exactly when I'm uploading videos. And all that being said... We will see you all in the next one. Later.